Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and I am currently running my Alpha 7 experimental single player series. Uh, last episode, we basically multi tooled down the, uh, or, well, I, I multi tooled down the HV and SV and transformed it into two better ones. Well, I decided I might as well do that to the CV. As you can see, it is gone. Right now, it's gone. It has been put into factory heaven right now. But what is ready to spawn is this beast right here. This is my big death trap. And it's not a class six. I don't know why. It's, that's just that's false. It's class three. I don't, and it'll let me spawn it. So I don't know why it shows that. Anyway, uh, you can see it's all ready to go. Uh, there are some overages on a bunch of stuff because I mainly use blocks and completed items to um, fill this up with. Uh, so I do. There is some overages and stuff. You can see. Uh, there's overages on pretty much everything, most things. Um, and that's because when you throw a block in, it might actually cause overages when you, when you, uh, in, in other areas too, right? So anyway, uh, it's ready to go. You can see my total production time is, is one second because I used all blocks, uh, pretty much from the other CV and I did have to use some ingots but because I had so many blocks from the other CV it, the production time is like nothing so let's start that and oh look it's finished okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go spawn this thing and hmm, it's still kind of dark out I also you know what before we spawn it I'm just gonna shut the door here because I don't know why the critter's coming in I want to show you the latest release candidate, what it did with our weapons. Um, very cool, in my opinion. Here, I can show you better just straight from the constructor. So, you can see that... I don't have everything I need to build some of this, obviously. But, um, what they've done now is there's a progression tra chain... To, your, to that particular type of weapon and what the kit does is once you've built the, the best tier one you can normally build you can use a, a weapon kit to mod it out and enhance it it then becomes unrepairable so that's the trade-off I really like what they did there because now when you use a weapon kit it, it boosts it it, it actually, you can make the, like, look at the Pulse Rifle T2. All you need is a Pulse Rifle. So to make a Pulse Rifle, you don't need any weapons kits or anything. You just need the stuff, just the ingots. If you got all the, the stuff to make it with, you can you can make the, the Tier 2 weapons of everything now without a kit. Uh, that's what I was look at least I could, I didn't see... I didn't see you needing a kit for any of the T2, the standard T2 stuff. But all of the enhanced stuff requires a kit plus. So, yeah. So the kit's just... Uh, so you can see plasma cannon. It doesn't require a kit. It doesn't require a heavy weapons kit anymore. But the enhanced plasma cannon does see that so that's very cool uh, that's keeping in line and it also you can consume your old plasma cannon so that's the great thing too you, you, you got the best weapon you can all of a sudden you found this kit it's like all oh, right I don't need to make a whole new a whole new one I can just put it in the factory along with my weapon and and with a little bit extra material costs It'll consume your weapon, the material, and the kit all together to enhance, to make a, a, an enhanced version of it that can't be repaired any, anymore. But the enhanced version is kind of the 
the best thing you can you can make on your own pretty much uh, after that is epic equipment that you can only loot so um, I like I love it I love it it's gonna it's gonna clean up our inventories better it's gonna keep us recycling our weapons better and it gives a real good meaning to weapon kits now because you only needed a couple and then pff, you never needed that type of kit anymore at least I found that because you could just repair them and repair and repair and then and oh I finally broke that one weapon type oh I'll use another kit and you know now I've finished the game because <laughs> it lasted so freaking long um, so yeah now you'll consume the kits faster because you won't be able to repair and you'll consume you can like looted looted weapons now is great because you can upgrade those to to the next tier right away and then when you have a kit you can upgrade to an enhance so 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 everything you loot now can be used to upgrade what you have or uh or could be potentially a direct replacement already uh so kudos to them they're they're making it so the the game uh recycles equipment efficiently in a way where it's not going to create a large object in the database anymore and I think that's going to make their 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 game more efficient in the long run and it also makes more common sense on how the weapons are tiered now and how the the damage is done I think they've done a really good balancing job with the hand hand tier weapons uh, I think they're probably going to be looking at balancing the the CV and that sort of stuff maybe in the future. It's not bad right now, like, um, but there were some big nerfs. I, could, I think the railgun just seems really useless right now. No, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't tried it since uh, a couple of updates now. So, and when I mean updates, so... Uh, the previous update to release candidate seven so it's still on seven i did try them and it was like huh still not great uh personally i like just stacking up my sv with uh mini guns or with um the um gatling guns okay uh we now have light outside so that's what i was kind of gabbing about and i wanted to show you the weapon upgrade paths and so now we can pretty much everything in the game uh, we can upgrade, uh, except for armor. Armor seems to be a static thing, only lootable, better than light. So, I don't see anything to shoot. I wanted to actually maybe shoot something. No? No? No, have I scared everything off this planet now? Really? Really? They just don't come around here anymore. They just don't come around anymore. Jeez, you know, no postcards or nothing. Okay, so let's spawn this. Let's spawn it. Get our big CV going. Well, it's not big. It's like tier. And look at that. Look at how cool it is. You can see uh, where, which direction it's facing. Now, unfortunately, they don't give you the, the tools right now to be able to spin it in place. But you can do that pretty much by moving your avatar because it's see how it whatever direction your avatar is facing that's pretty much what it's going to do so now we know exactly where it's going to be when it spawns uh, so we can spawn it just like right there so very cool um, I'm really liking the the balancing the what they've done with seven so far, I've really, I really like. Uh, I did get to try out the hover vehicle with the with the laser drills in the front, and they worked much better than the tier one. So that I was happy with that because the tier one were really kludgy and kind of got hung up on the little deposits down in the where when you're mining, and and it made it really difficult. Like the tier one drills were not as good as before. Uh, with how the, how you got to mine now, uh, but the laser ones are a significant improvement, and now it's not it it wasn't a big deal at all with the laser ones. So 
uh, great. So you just got to suffer with, with cr a little bit of crappy mining from the HVs until you get your laser drills on them. Let's go in here and I'm going to show you guys around. Um, for those of you that have not seen any of my previous series, I did make this on my multiplayer server last season. And all I've done is just... Uh, it, it, it's basically just a giant flying armored hangar with a lot of weapons. I do have a mezzanine up there, so let's go check it out. There's two entrances to get up into the cockpit area, and and there's a lounge area upstairs. We'll go check it out. It's it's definitely it it is bigger than um, the other CV I had, obviously. Uh, you know what? Let's um let's go into the here and we'll just fill this up there we go okay so oh, a little bright that's okay I can adjust those lights later actually I can just oh you know what I think I think I need to keep the lights on now because what I remember is if there was sprouts when you yeah see that and they're ready to pick how awesome is that? Woo! Insto Garden. So I have a enough here, I believe, to make nine cans of vegetables and some other stuff, mostly fiber and and um, aloe vera to make bandages. So it's pretty useful out on the road, and it actually you can use it for kind of long-term exploration even you know I mean nine cans is yeah you, you never go hungry right oh actually let's go upstairs okay, we'll go up to engineering and apparently not there we go <laughs> so this is engineering and it automatically adjusted the warp drive it used to now I've got some actually space down there I can slide more stuff in that's kind of cool I like that I like that the warp drives aren't as big anymore they were a little ridiculous before so I've got space to put more I don't know probably fuel would be my guess right I don't need more oxygen that way it can even be I also have an extra cockpit up here that you can actually pilot the vessel with just I don't know what if you're in the lounge? Because getting from the lounge up here is actually pretty easy. Getting in the lounge down to the down to the cockpit can be a pain in the ass. So let's say I'm picking vegetables, something comes, I can just go, oh crap, and then go like this and you know miss there, and then go like this and not have my jump ready, and then go like this and jump up, and then go like this and boom, I'm in it, right? So, so there you go. It's as simple as that. Okay, so. I can actually fly it from here too if I wanted. We can go into the. We can turn everything on, I guess. Get the engines going. Even turn the gravity on. I've got switches set up. Well, not switches, but custom buttons set up to turn off and on groups. And we should be able to just take right off. So this thing, you can see, it's it's not the most efficient thing, but out in space it's not too bad. I don't fly around in atmosphere a lot, um, because CVs aren't that great in atmosphere, and, and their guns don't work. Most of their, any, any of their good guns don't work anyway. Just their, just the regular turrets, just the minigun and the cannon turrets work. any ammo on me right now but what is that is that a it's a PO I haven't smashed yet yeah yeah we're not gonna worry about that right now we're not gonna worry about this stuff let's just land so what I want to do I want to spin this around right have it back 
facing the door. Well, actually, probably where I spawned it and I just walk up from there, so let's spin this around. I'm a horrible parker. I have to park with the with the alt button. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so let's let's get down a little lower so we can see where we're really at. back here. Whoops. Sneak right back. Yeah, and then I can just straighten her out a bit. Take a look how that looks. Come on, stop it, camera. And yeah, it looks like I'm... Am I going to tip over if I... Uh, I don't think so. Let's just land. There we go. Okay. So that was uh, flying it from my engine compartment. Now I'll go show you the uh, the actual cockpit. <coughs> we can pick those later. I don't have... Uh, I don't have all the... Oops. Passed. So there's a little... You can see it's a little kludgy getting into here from... The hangar bay um, and from upstairs so but it does have its own access to to the outside so it's got like an emergency hatch here that you can just jump up and be outside you can, you can get up on top of it this way and so there is a way to get up here it's just you got to kind of get it's a roundabout way but so yeah, it's a little bigger. It's got a few more guns. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's got a lot of guns. It does a lot of damage. It vaporizes like drones like they were nothing space drones. <laughs> it's, it's kind of pathetic to watch them even come at me in this thing. Um, well, let's go back inside. Okay, so here's the cockpit area. I have the way the reason I have it like this is a lot of times I need to access whatever I just killed out in space to, to loot it, right? So all I got to do is let's say I'm in here, I kill something, I I go like this, and instantly I'm I'm up and grabbing it or let's say I'm I go like this and I just whoops another object okay so I spawn my drone <laughs> and then I go it get out there and go loot whatever it was and that way I'm safe inside well semi safe better better than myself being exposed out there anyway so yeah, I love CVs for, for space. Uh, atmosphere, not so much. So I got a little uh, healing area here, some bare necessities with, with some deco that heal you, and a little crew cleanup area, shower, toilet shower, some cargo, personal containers and stuff. So there you have it. Tour of the place. Um, it'll hold everything I need no problem it's got such a big hangar bay that I can put I'll be able to put both my vessels in there and just have them inside I don't need to because it's got a, such a big hangar bay I don't need to park stuff on on the outside of this thing well I guess we should take this thing out and kill something right like the frickin drone or the the yeah the drone freighter the drone carrier out around Akua and then we'll actually own Akua space so let's do that we're gonna we're gonna what do we need we need lots of missiles and stuff we need all the CV stuff I guess I should have been making that stuff eh damn well let's do the missiles 
this will show us what what we need to actually make stuff with too so I need all that stuff wow okay let's head back over to I don't have any mats in this thing so let's head back over to the base and we'll see what we can scrounge up here Even if I make a bit of each, that'll probably be enough. And we can always take the SV up there and pester them, I guess. It's probably the easiest way to... Keep, well, not really. Actually, the SV can do a good job with guided missiles, which it has now. So, Okay, so let's take a look, see what we need. Uh, I don't know why I went in this way, but whatever. Let's see. I should be able to... So what do I need? I need a restroom gel. Okay. Okay. So, I need a restroom. I think I got a crap load in here. Yes. And there's a whole bunch left in the furnace, I do believe. Uh, not a whole bunch, but some. So building building on my vehicles really ate up my uh, my stash. I mean, I've got a whole bunch more in the SV upstairs. I know I do. It's so so I'm not too worried, but you really need a lot of the high end ores now to to do everything. And even build all the um, SV base CV LS charge two. So let's make now. Those are the I can't remember now. Let's take a look at the weapons because the ones that I want right now are just my my fifteen mill which I got a bunch on the other vehicles I want the missile where's the CV missile CV missile rocket turret so 150 H MSL so I want the 150 H MSLs so where are we here 150 H MSLs I don't I don't see them. Am I just totally... No, what? One, oh, I'm looking right at them, yet. Okay, so... Uh, magnesium powder. Okay, woo. Wow, I don't have a lot of magnesium. Okay, but they're going to these missiles. Whatever magnesium I got, I'm putting in these missiles. So let's just, let's just do it. 500 of them for now. I don't think I'll be able to. I don't have enough magnesium, no. <laughs> oh, too bad. Well, you know what? I guess we're not going to go smash something. We need magnesium, which is now like the hardest thing to get in the game. So that's what we're going to be taking. All of our stuff, we're going to take the HV... Um, ooh, ooh, I hope his, I don't think the HV requires these, that's okay, I'm going to spin these up, uh, what does it require, why did I just do that, the HV missiles, the HV missiles, I believe are those ones, yes they are, cobalt alloy, okay, So I need cobalt too. So let's go upstairs and check to see if we got a bunch of cobalt. So I need, I, I need magnesium, I need cobalt, cumin. Okay. Let's see if. I guess I could have turned the engines off. Well, they don't seem to really use a lot of energy when it's parked. So you can see it's got some fairly large thrust. Um. It really, and some really big weapons, really, really big weapons. 
Okay. Sorry, I'm getting all excited. Let's see what you got, buddy. I know you have some more stuff on you. Okay, we'll take this stuff. We can leave the rest there. Uh, actually, we'll need some of this probably because it does eat up a lot of Prometheum now to make ammo also. Oh, there we go. So there we go, right? I need cobalt. I can leave some of this on there for the... to put on the um, CV. So, wow. Are we, like, out of cobalt? Holy crap. I did not realize. Uh... Okay, so I guess we're going to get cobalt first. And we're going to take the HV. Yeah, we are. But I swore I had some more cobalt. Okay, so there's enough here to make the ammo. Okay, so let's do that. This stuff in here. Okay. So now I made a decent amount of these ones, but it's not going to be enough to do anything, do any real damage with. Unfortunately, 175 is nothing. Nothing. Damn it. Magnesium and cobalt we are hurting for. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Let's just grab this stuff because I'm going to put all this on the CV. We can, let's grab some stacks of ore too. Well, yeah, let's grab some iron. We're going to need some Prometheum. We're going to need all this fuel. Okay. Okay, iron, what else are we going to need for ammo? Let's grab some silicone, copper. Uh, well, we'll need a restroom too, I guess. Because I can just, I can make the ammo actually on the CV for itself, right? Because I got advanced constructors on there, so. Uh, okay, so we've got air, water, pentaxid, we've got some ores, we've got some of that. Let's get a whole bunch of, let's get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 going. Okay, so. Let's just go over, we'll, whoops, yeah, let's just jam into my ship here, and we'll just fly over there and empty this onto, into my uh, CV. space there is in here. I'll be able to like move this like right over to the side, no problem. And just set down. Get out. Okay. And then so from here do I have these marked? Do I have, oh, I got some cargo boxes marked. Oh, I do have stuff marked. So, ammo fuel. Put all this into ammo fuel. I need cobalt. Yep, need cobalt. But that's okay, I can get the other stuff going. LS charge. Which one is the one for the turrets? Uh, CV takes LS charge. Okay. So LS charge. 
that's just for I, I won't even bother making any of those right now I won't even use well you know what I might have to because I don't have magnesium right yeah okay so that makes 10 10 well 10 gel jeez that's not cheap and it makes 50 so if I make 10 that's 500 need more than that I need thousands of these these are like I need like 10,000 of these charges so let's just and there's 500 so let's just spin up a hundred for now that'll eat up all my arrestrium wow holy crap arrestrium is gonna be so expensive now uh, you better make sure that if you guys are making multiplayer servers that, that you're not restricting the the amount of these high-end ores anymore because wow look at look at how much look at how much it just used I just used 20 arrestrium to make 50 charges that that gets dissipated in like moments with those turrets ouch ouch it's gonna cost me three or four thousand arrestrium to make my ammo just to load up on ammo at first holy crap Whew. It's expensive. It's, oh I mean it all is now isn't it yeah okay so what's this this is PL charge so plasma so I need those uh, 20 per, it only costs 5, that's not bad. Well, actually, that's more expensive, because those you get 54 for 10. These you, you get, oh, man, these are super expensive. Okay. Well, they don't shoot as much, so I'm not going to need as much. So let's do, not 1, 11. So that'll be like 400, 600. Oh. Look at that! It's already used almost a hundred arrestrium. <laughs> Just a small stack of, of. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Yikes! I'm glad I. I'm glad I freaking mind all that arrestrium I'm gonna use it all right now just making ammo holy ow kind of makes me cry I'm so used to um, I'm so used to having to, to go through such hell to get any sort of quantity of that stuff but it is easier to get now thank god okay um well, that's crafting that up. Good. That's going to take a while, unfortunately. But that's okay. We can go into space anyway. So we need to go grab my HV. And we'll grab some food and stuff. That's my inventory. Like, oh yeah, let's put all this in, in here. So we'll get the fuel. Go to in here. Okay. Let's, um... that on me. Oh, we could have put this. We'll go like this. Come on. We'll go like this. We'll do a fill all. Put those in there. Okay. And then we do a fill all there. Make sure everything's topped up. Okay. And oh, we can put that uh, water so I, I go into the control panel to pretty much do everything. Uh, it's not as practical if you have multiple people, though, because so you, you, you don't want to go into the control panel all the time because only one person can access the control panel at a given time. So in that case, you'll need things accessible to just walk up to and access. So let's put the stuff in here. And stone dust. Do I need stone dust in here too? I think I do, don't I? I need stone dust for something. I can't remember what it is now. 
Is it uh, is it for nutrient solution? Yes, it is. Okay, so we'll put that in there. It'll get used. Okay. Well, maybe not now, but eventually it would have. So that's I usually organize my stuff as I put stuff away and as I loot, I I put it I put it away organized so that everything's just much easier to find when you organize all your car cargo boxes and name them. Pie. Sorry, I needed a <clears throat> bio break of my own there. Okay. Get our food back up. So we're going to grab, I don't know, it, it doesn't really matter. The ship produces its own. I just need mats and I can make my own can. With all the water, it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I really don't need that much. I really don't need that much. Okay. So what else? We need... We got lots of energy. We got lots of food. I put a ton of oxygen on the ship. Uh, we'll grab the ammo that this spun up. What was I spinning up in here? Right, all the 15 mil, good. We'll need that for all the drones. Uh, this should be enough to to get us going on the CV. I mean, the CV is pretty self-sufficient. I can, I don't really need all the stuff from here. It, it also has a big drill, but we will take, yeah, you know what? We're going to need more of this stuff. Wow. We're going to, wow. So we'll just grab... I guess I could bring this all to the CV. Why not? Why not? Okay. And what else do we need? Cobalt. <laughs> and magnesium. Yes, we need cobalt and magnesium badly. How's the base doing? 31 hours. We'll just fill that up. 40 hours. Okay. So we'll just jump in here. Power her up. Get her parked. Lots of room. Lots of space. Okay, we can turn this guy off. Oops, I don't know why I jumped out without turning it off. Let's turn it off. And all he's got is 15 mil, so the 135H MSL needs cobalt for. And we need 135H MSLs for this guy who has 330 and he's so this guy's set up he's good to go he doesn't have any I'm not going to be warping with him right now but I did put the warp tank on him so uh, that's what that okay so I think we're good we just need to put this stuff away so this is the which one is this which one of the if you're not quite sure which device you're at if you do go into the control panel by facing it, hit P, and then go into devices, it'll take you to what you were facing when you hit P. So I'm in the builder. Okay, good. Um, well, let's access that and put a bunch of this stuff in there. And we'll put the rest, well that's going to have to go in here because that's, I'm going to need that for ammo. Because you yeah, have brutal. Okay, so that's spinning up. That's good. That's good. That's good. Those are the uh, turret charges. Those things do some mean work out in space. Wow. They, they are way better than minigun turrets because they got the range and they fire almost, they, they fire 
all a lot. <laughs> They're really good. They do big damage too. So I really like them. They're probably my favorite turret in space other than the big crazy artillery turrets, but those I don't think I got what it takes to make the shells for right now. MSO. MSO. 15, no, magnesium powder and CV, there it is. No, that's flax shell. Where's the... Where's... What... Uh, what does the artillery turret take now? That is the HV. Where's the... Black turret. Artillery turret base. Artillery turret CV takes 160 MSL. 165, 155, 150. What the hell is 160? What? Am I. 150. Sir. But advanced? Uh. Why can't I make it? 165. 155. Right. I don't see it here. Am I just blind? Am I just completely blind? It says it needs 160 mm MSL. 160 mm MSL. No, guys, am I like just, am I like just derping right out here? Cause I don't see, I don't see the artillery turret shells in this list anymore. Did it, but I, I know I've learned everything. Did they change something? Let's go back in the capital vessel. Got a whole bunch of unlock points. No, because I can make it. Uh, <laughs> is it bugged? Crap! <sighs> I, okay, I mean, I've got everything unlocked. Oh yeah, I had to go through and unlock all the enhanced ones too, so they, they were part of this... Uh, um, release candidate. Hmm. Well, guys, I don't know. I can't see anything I haven't unlocked in Capital Vessel. Uh, okay. This is an advanced constructor, right? It's an advanced constructor. I'm in weapons. Do I have to select specific to capital C? Then I don't even get the ammo. Okay, so I'm in weapons and items. Don't see anything that looks like it should be a... fifty-one HMSL. Those are, those are the... Uh, those are the... The guided missiles, those aren't the artillery turret. 160? I don't see 160. What? I can't make ammo for it? Okay, so this will be the first time that you're going to see me do this in a long time. I'm going to tilde many templates in good 
updating the room for something. I don't know what that all that console crap is. Um, I'm just gonna check out what it actually takes to make if it actually exists here. Cause this is crazy. Artillery shell HV flak shell 150. See there it is, the one no that's 165. Down here and then. Okay, so there it is, 160. And I don't know what it takes to make. It doesn't say God. So it's still in the it's still an item in the item menu. And that's what it looks like. But it doesn't have the the filter doesn't work on the type of constructor you need filter doesn't work on ammo. Huh. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> or the weapon and same with the weapons, but the other the other ones do. Everything else does. See? Oh wait, no, that's no, they don't actually tell you from this screen. Sorry, right. Derp a derp. Uh, okay, so I mean, they still exist in the game. Let's just get out of here. I never use that. So, how do I disable that? I think I gotta hit it again, right? I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So... Let's look for that stupid little thing. Am I just... Yeah, I don't see it. That's just weird. Is this a bug? I think it's a bug. I think we've been... I think we've been hit by a bug. So 160 mm MSL. Let's try filtering that. Uh, 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 160 mm MSL. Okay, so I can filter it. Oscillator, magnesium powder. Okay, so I need Neo. Oh, I'm out of Neo too. Crap. <laughs> so I'm going to need Neo. So why, okay, so what? I don't get it. Why is that not showing up anymore in the standard? It was there to, for me to make if I filtered my results. See, I can't scroll over more. Is there something, is there like a column missing completely? It's not, it's supposed to have like a, another, another row of stuff or something? Huh, I don't know. Okay, so that's a bug. Well, let's see. Maybe it's maybe it's only affecting. Yeah, it's that's really weird. <laughs> ah, okay. So I don't know. Is there another tier of constructor now? This advanced constructor can make is an advanced constructor. You think if there was another tier, the advanced constructor could make it? Okay, I think it's a bug. I think it just got missed as a bug. Okay. Well, we're not going to have artillery turret ammo. Then. Or I guess we will if we ever find magnesium. But we're not going to build any right now anyway because we don't have the mats. So. We can get to it through filtering, and so so right now it's not completely gone. Anyway, uh, yeah, that sucks. But let's go. We've got food. We've got ammo. We've got O2.
So let's just jump in. We can put all this stuff away really quick here. So we'll just uh, fill all 5,000. 5,000 15 mil bullets is good enough for right now. That's all we really need. Um, I can. I guess I could grab what's in here and pick it up too. Give those turrets something to shoot. Okay, and now did I have to adjust the turrets what they shoot? Yes. Okay. So we don't want these things shooting at everything. All I wanted to do is take out turrets, mounted weapons, and aliens, uh, and that'll take care of pretty much everything. I don't want to take out predators because it'll just waste my ammo. So I just turn these off, and when you have 21 turrets, it can take a while. <laughs> So, what, but once you do this, you don't have to do it again. So let's just quickly get this done. Pulse laser. So these are my, these are the ones that I really like. They do 53 damage. They shoot fairly fast, 150 RPM. And uh, they have a decent range. Where's their... doesn't doesn't show the range on here I guess it's very subjective so they don't bother putting it on <laughs> okay uh, do this get this done I don't want these things shooting at everything and that we got that and Change these. Also, these rocket turrets are uber. You need magnesium. That really sucks. But guided missiles are awesome. Okay. So there we go. We've got that. And it's still it's still building ammo force while we fly around. So let's just... Uh, oh, uh, also what I should do is... Turn my oxygen on. We'll turn the turrets on. We're going to turn the gravity on. Uh, what else do we need to turn on? We need to probably put stuff in the fridge, right? Put one in the bridge fridge. Put the food in the bridge fridge. Put this on me there. We can get rid of my color tools. And, oh, I better make sure I got an Evo. I've got it on me. Okay. 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 Let's go. Off to the moon to get cobalt with the HV. Yeah, this, this CV is a little loud. But once we get out of the atmosphere, it won't be so bad. And here we are in space. Just clear the, the atmospheric residue. Okay, so where are we going again? We want cobalt. I don't think I ever found cobalt in the in the asteroid ring, so we could go get cobalt that way, or we could just mine it with the HV really quick on the moon. I bet might be the better way, right? Let's let's do some HV mining on the moon.
that'll give us a chance to uh, fly around with the HV and I can show you a little bit of the mining. Also, I'm going to turn my auto brake off by hitting I. And you can see now it says auto brake off down in the corner there. And I'm going to release the thrust. And now my power consumption just dropped to almost nothing. And I'm just gliding along at 90 meters per second. What was that that we just passed there? Hey buddy. Oh, is that the TS Akua? That might be. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. And that's the other cool thing. While you're drifting along, you can spin around and look and da 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 da. Oh yeah. But you still keep going in the same direction. Okay. So we're almost there. And we're slowing down. That's interesting. Well, I'll turn the brakes on anyway now. Uh, where do we want to come down? In the mountains, maybe? It's usually there's no POIs deep or uh, high up in the mountains. So let's let's try that. stuff marked so what let's let's just come down level off here before we get too close to any POIs and let's take a look on the map I know it's super loud the engines are really loud on this I know sorry guys so we're looking for cobalt, cobalt, cobalt. There's one there. So I don't know how much is left though. I guess we'll just go check it out. It's just right over there, really close to the drone base. I smashed this drone base on the moon, did I? I don't think I did. Although it's showing... Yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah, that thing's huge. I can't get to that cobalt. Okay, so... Put some over there. I don't want to... I don't really want to explore with this thing. It costs too much of fuel to just fly around in atmosphere, even though that there's really no atmosphere, there's still gravity, which consumes more fuel than, than normal. So there's a farm there I can smash, but I don't want a farm. What I want is cobalt. Uh, so it says I know where two out of three are. So there's one there. beside the power station. Of course. Of course. So, you know what? That'll be easier to take out than the drone base. Come on. And it's probably in the boundary, that's why it's showing me the wrong way. <laughs> and, oh, what do we got there? A rocket drone. Rocket drone coming in behind us here. Really? Oh, uh, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. Mini guns are actually pretty fast. 
Yeah, killing things in atmosphere. Not bad. Okay. Well, not atmosphere, but gravity, I should say. Okay, so... Uh, I wish I knew where the other cobalt was. So let's say in that direction, what, what I need to do is have that directly facing the opposite way. And that means I gotta fly past the drone base. Okay. So let's do that. And that's kind of a funky marker up in space. I'm not, sh not really sure what they're targeting. No, I did see a red. Oh, let's get our night sight going. Sorry guys, I know a lot of people don't, don't like watching videos with the night sight. It's just, I can't do nothing about it. I can't see without it. I need to be able to see. Okay, so let's get the, which one is ours again? I think we're trying to get, is it that one? Yeah, because it's not that one. Let's, let's nuke that one. That one's stupid now. This is stupid. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now I can keep that yellow dot directly behind me. And... Really? I'm gonna run into the border? Okay, there we go. This... That's what I was looking for, and this will correct my... There, now I can see the cobalt properly. Oh, I was almost on the opposite side of the planet. At least it's only a little more than half the gravity of of Akua, so it's not killing my power, but typically I don't fly around with the CV. I'll scout with my SV, then I'll then I'll take my CV down, drop my my HV, and try and mine really quick with the HV. So, what is that? That is the other, that's the power thing, right? Yeah. Okay, so, well, let's land somewhere. We'll land amongst all these iron deposits, why not? do is I go into here and I just turn the engines off that turns all the RCs, RCSs, the uh, pretty much, er oh, why didn't, okay, so it didn't. Why didn't it? That's there, that's there, that's there, that's there, that's there, good. Oh, 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 that's my glide, right. So, Right, I had this set up with the, yeah, I don't need that anymore. They turned that, they they fixed that with the um, auto brake thing. So I can, I can turn that off. So we can switch that to engines. We'll go back into here and just do a quick flip. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so let's. 50 hours, 48 minutes with the engines off. Oh yeah, so I mean, it does conserve a lot of energy. Okay, okay. Fair enough. There we go. Let's jump out. 
Oof. Get that turned off. Uh, we're going to need some food with us, so we'll grab one of these stacks. Got lots of... Got no O2 on me, so I better grab some of that too. So we'll head down. Oh, wait, no, we got to smash it. We got to smash it, so we're heading... Yeah, we're heading down. Right, 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 right. I don't have anything on this thing anymore. I'm thinking of the other CV. Okay, so... O2. Okay, access bottle, good enough. Good enough. One of those. Oh, 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 crap, what's going on? What's going on? Something got too close. Okay, well, something got too close. And right. So, you know what? I think we're out of time here. In fact, we're way over time. Let's save the smash of the base for the next episode. And we'll collect the cobalt and stuff. Uh, I'll show you how fast it is. So that's what we're going to do next episode. We're going to smash that base, collect the cobalt, then we're going to fly off, uh, hopefully get some neo and magnesium with the CV miner, and then we'll be able to have all the ammo we, we want for the rest of the series, which is only going to be one or two more episodes. So well, guys, it was great. If you like this episode, like and subscribe. Next episode, we're going to go smash something and get stuff. Have a good one.